Hi everyone, so I wanted to show you my new boxes. This time I'm using a video camera, so we'll see how this works. This is um, from Graphic 45. It's called Steampunk Spells. It's the paper pack with the chipboard that comes with it. This is a Michael's Flower. I'm um, sorry, a Michael's Butterfly. Um, Recollections Black Roses that I got. And I also used, you can see this a little bit. Um, it's just lace. It was white lace all here that I that I painted or, or dyed black whatever you want to call it and then I just added a little piece here and this is my background um, this I just created myself it's um just uh, beads that I, I, I put in a hat pin just to give it you know a little something and then my inside I also covered it with Graphic 45 um, Steampunk Spells paper. Um, I painted the edges I in... I knew what you were coming for. That's my husband, sorry. We shared the office. I painted it with uh, Lumiere's um, Pewter paint. The black is a uh, Lumiere black paint. The top I used the uh, Michael's Black um, Butterflies. These are actually Prima Butterflies. Um, I just took them out because, you know... It went with the colors. This one's, uh, I believe, um, Recollections. I think this is, I'm pretty, no, this is from the Michaels also. It came in the same pack with the black ones. Uh, again, my Recollections black flowers. Uh, the rose and the little flat ones. And the chipboard embellishments of the steampunk spells. So this is my box. This is my Halloween inspired uh, box. This one, my husband went and got me a cigar box, as you can see. And I haven't finished the inside, I just kind of want to show you. I used the Prima Almanac paper pack. These are flowers that I got from the Scrapbook Expo. These are um, Mona Miyabi flowers. Again, Recollections Black Flowers. This is a Prima Wood embellishment that I inked it with uh, Tim Holtz Vintage Photo and Tea Dye. Then I went and I put a little bling right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's see. Oh, it went blurry. Okay, I guess it doesn't go that close. So it's a little bling for the eyeball. This is a tag that I got from Jolie's and it came like this already. All I did was I stamped it with Cherish. I used the pearl, um, what is it, string or, or you know, it comes in that, that roll of, of a whole bunch of pearls and I used some vintage lace. I think this lace, if I'm not mistaken, I got it from, I'm pretty sure I got it from Michaels. Mm, probably not. No, I think I bought it from Wild Orchid Crafts when I ordered my, my flowers. Um, anyway, moving on. These are want to scrap borders. It's that sticker border. I just kind of put it right in the center so can you kind of see it from the front and I didn't paint the box or anything the box was actually black already so I left it as is I really like this paper packet it's really pretty again it's from the Prima Almanac um, so yeah these are my boxes that I've created recently I'll finish that soon and let you guys see I've also done tonight actually I went ahead and um, I did some tags I did this one this one is uh, Tim Holtz colors and the script um, and the want to scrap bling also a border I kind of cut it so that it would fit see it's cut from the from so it can have you know could reach without using the entire border because it's actually long and this flower is also from Monami Abbey. 
I stamped the uh, Love, Wish, and Dream on a separate piece of paper, and then I just um, distressed it with the Tim Holtz inks. Then I just added some ribbon. It's just a quick and easy little tag. And this one I was watching um, another blogger a while ago. I, I, I just watched videos, and she had done something with similar with the same background, and I really liked it. But obviously, like everything, you never have what the other person has, so I had to improvise and get some of the stuff that I had. But the background was hers. I believe it was My Butterfly Kisses. Um, and it's just the Tim Holtz Papillion back, uh, stamp set with the butterflies and moth from that same stamp set. Then this is a, a Prima flower with some Prima buttons. My Cherish stamp. I use it everywhere. I really like that word, Cherish. This is also, um, actually I think this is, it's just a little chipboard sticker. I think this was, I don't know if it was Prima or from something else. I can't remember. And this is just leather. I didn't do anything to the back. It's just a, a leather um, string for like jewelry. I had it up here but I guess I moved it when I was uh, moving things around but so yeah that's my that's my projects for this weekend and this one was tonight thanks for watching